Welcome to Radio 64.
Welcome to Radio 64 Video Game Music Remix Radio. I'm your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dusk vs. Tweak. Radio 64 is part of the Radio Meanwhile Network. Visit RadioMeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts. You can find past episodes of Radio 64 on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and YouTube. And thank you to WRAQ 92.7 FM in Angelica, New York for hosting us every Monday at 6 p.m. That happy little track you just heard was called Ripples of Hope by Chimpazilla, an emulator from ocremix.org, from the game Super Mario 64. I'm not the biggest Super Mario 64 fan in the world, but I have been, I've been finding myself to have these warm memories related to it, even though I've only ever played the game once and recently. But I hear this song, and I feel like I'm eight again. It's it's strange, because I didn't really play the game when I was that young. But there is something just so childlike and innocent in the Mario 64 soundtrack that you can't, uh, no matter how different the remix is, it's still in there. Not that this mix was trying to really venture away from that warmth. I mean, that that really was just a, a happy little pop mix of the file select theme and the title theme from Koji Kondo from Super Mario 64. It, apparently, there's some Dire Dire Docs theme in there. I didn't necessarily hear that myself. Just a nice song there. So that's Ripples of Hope by Chimpazilla and Emunator from ocremix.org from the game Super Mario 64. 1991, Sega Genesis time. We've got Golden Axe 2, the sequel to Golden Axe. I don't, I've only played, gosh, the first level of Golden Axe ever? I, that's, that's it. I've never really given the system, uh, that game much time. I didn't have a Genesis. Uh, I, I'm gonna get to it eventually, provided I live until, uh, 500, I guess. This is a pretty aggressive metal mix. It's called Ravage Metal by Shinrei. Cool synth sounds in here. I wish there was a bit more of that synth, but that's probably because I'm a... I, I tend to respond more to electronic music than I do heavy metal. It adds some dimension to this song. Let's listen to Ravage Metal by Shinrei from ocremix.org from the game Golden Axe 2.
was Ravaged Metal by Shinrei from ocremix.org from the game Golden Axe 2. And those are some heavy drums. I, I'm not the biggest fan of uh, of metal there, but I, I can appreciate heavy drum play. I like I like some drums that can shake you. Back right before right before I started college, I was uh, playing through Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And I didn't finish the game. I got about halfway through. I beat a bunch of the uh, the famous boss fights. And I got right as Snake was supposed to go into this big complex. It, I'm told it was the halfway point. But I went to college, and right before I sold a bunch of my games, and I never finished Metal Gear Solid 3. So I'm correcting that right now. At this moment, I'm actually playing through it. The theme, that Snake Eater song that plays after like the, what, hour, two hour uh, tutorial cold open of the game... It is so fun. It it nails that James Bond opening theme perfectly, and a as a parody, there. I mean, the song doesn't take itself seriously, which I think is important. This is a mix of that with some other music in there. You have the old Snake, the Metal Gear Solid theme in there. So there's there's bits and pieces throughout the entire Metal Gear Solid series. But I mean, when you hear it, yes, it's definitely the uh, Snake Eater track. This has Claire Yexley on the vocals. This one, she's she's coming across a lot more uh, ballad style to it. Her voice is gruffer, more angry. I, I like what she's doing in this. I, I'm, I'm very impressed. This is Innocent Deception by Claire Yexley and DJ Mystics from OCRemix.org from the game Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater.
That was Innocent Deception by Claire Yexley and DJ Mystics from ocremix.org from the game Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And it, it, it's just a cool game. I'm not great at stealth, but Metal Gear Solid for some reason has always made it so that I don't feel terrible at the stealth. I'm having fun doing it. And I tell you what, the, the cutscenes are long. I know this series has been critiqued. For its long cutscenes, I could sit there and watch them all day. I love them. From one Konami game to another, though, we're going back to the NES for Castlevania II, Simon's Quest. And if you know the game, then you know there's a pretty good chance we're playing the Bloody Tears theme. This is a monster of a techno piece released back in like 2008. Boy, I'm getting old. Piano synth piece that uh, that I love. Uh, I've always been impressed by this piece. It's always fun. It might be one of my... I mean... Any remix of Bloody Tears is probably going to be a favorite of mine, but this this one's up there for me. So this is Castle of Tears by DigiE from OCRemix.org from the game Castlevania II Simon's Quest. <laughs>
That was Castle of Tears by DigiE from ocremix.org from the game Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Bloody tears. Bloody love it. Sorry. I don't know why I did that. I didn't think that one through, and then I said it, and before I could stop myself, it was too late. Uh, there's a couple of aggressive tracks on this. Uh, I keep using aggressive, but it seems like it applies for a couple of these. This this one's just as aggressive. It's a, a Meat Boy track, a Super Meat Boy track, and it, it's got some... It's got some like angry dubstep elements in this. It's called Meat Boy by A Rival, and it's taking that Danny Baranowski track and yeah, just making it a uh, a nasty synth dubstep piece with with a bit of choir in there. Yeah, this is the kind of track that I, f I have a hard time finding like the uh, the melody for, but it it keeps your attention. So this is Meat Boy by A Rival from OCRemix.org from the game Super Meat Boy. <laughs>
That was Meat Boy by A Rival from OCRenix.org from the game Super Meat Boy. I put out a request on Twitter. I was having a tricky time this week for some reason coming up with uh, tracks for this theme. So I was I just asked on Twitter uh, at Dust vs Tweak. Uh, just throw me a source tomb or a game. I need I need another track for this for this week. And uh, Dreamy Warrior from Twitter suggested Guile's theme. So I, I dug through for uh, some of my f- favorite mixes. And this one's an older one. It's from 2003, but I like it maybe because it's a bit more conservative with Guile's theme. But I think it's uh, a lot of fun because Guile's fe- theme from Street Fighter 2 is a lot of fun. This kind of has that like G.I. Joe theme. In fact, it's even in the title. Guile's theme, R-A-H mix, Real American Hero. This, this I think, is just a, a really solid mix of Yoko Shinomura's Guile's theme from Street Fighter. So, I'm going to say Guile's theme again because this is the name of the title. Guile's theme, R-A-H mix by Reza from ocremix.org from the game Street Fighter II The World Warrior. <laughs> That was Guile's Theme, R.A.H. Mix, by Reza from OCRemix.org from the game Super Street Fighter II The World Warrior. And you know what? I played a lot of Guile, but I did not think of him as a main character until that Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. And then I was like, I guess I need to play a little bit more Guile. I've got a soft spot for that uh, that high top haired. <laughs> Listen, last time I think I said more saxophone. Give me more saxophone always. And this week I'm even calling my bluff. There, there's some fun saxophone in this. Just really chipper saxophone. This is called Five Minutes of Glory. It's from a tennis game on the Super Nintendo. There's just a lot going on in this. I mean, you've got electric guitar. You've got some synth in there. You've got the piano, a bit of organ. It's a whole bunch of people working together. There's clapping. It, it really just feels like a super joyful experience. Makes me want to play this tennis game. I didn't have this on the Super Nintendo. Maybe maybe I would have loved it. 
I I've been really digging this track. This is called Five Minutes of Glory by Ivan Hackstock. JN Wake, Wildcat, an expert novice from ocremix.org from the game Super Final Match Tennis.
That was Five Minutes of Glory by Ivan Hackstock, J.N. Wake, Wildcat, and Expert Novice from OCRenix.org from the game Super Final Match Tennis. Yeah, that saxophone came in. I was like, I like this. We're playing this. The original soundtrack was by Takamitsu Kajikawa. That track was Wave Ocean the Inlet and Special Opponent Defeated. I I might have to go through that game and listen to its original soundtrack because I, I dug what I heard. I have a friend who swears by Cool Spot. Uh, cool Spot soundtrack was originally by Tommy Tellerico, who uh, who's still going around with uh, Video Games Live, a show uh, I've been to a couple of times. I always enjoy it. They just travel around, work with local orchestras, and play orchestral versions of uh, video game music for crowds that maybe uh, wouldn't listen to it in general. And it's always a good time. I, I love bringing people to it. Um, but yeah, this is Big Giant Circles taking that... Uh, taking that mix from uh, Cool Spot, the bonus levels from Cool Spot, throwing so much uh, electronic energy at it. This is one of those mixes where it's just a wall of sound and just so much happening. It's just so layered. It's just fast-paced fun. So this is Overclocked Spot by Big Giant Circles from ocrenix.org from the game Cool Spot.
That was Overclock Spot by Big Giant Circles from OCRemix.org from the game Cool Spot. A game that I guess was on the Super Nintendo, but I totally remember it only being on the Genesis as a kid. The only people I knew who had this game had it on the Sega Genesis. And I remember the graphics just being like weirdly impressive. It, it's crazy. I mean, Cool Spot's the set the seven up logo. But there he is, uh, a legend in early 90s gaming. This is a new track from Overclocked Remix. It's called Peace and Bliss by Blue Lighter, and it is a remix of Yuna's Decision from Final Fantasy X. I have to tell you, it's, it's a mellow piano piece, and I don't actually recognize the source tune very well. I don't know exactly what's going on in this mix, and I tried all week to, to really pin it, but maybe I'm just not as familiar with Yuna's, the track Yuna's Decision as I thought I was. I thought I knew like everything from Final Fantasy X soundtrack, but I guess not. Or maybe this mix has just kind of thrown me off. I was hoping to get a, a classical piano piece in this week, uh, and I had a few contenders, but then this one uh, was posted just recently, so it moved to the top of the list. This is Peace and Bliss by Blue Lighter from ocremix.org from the game Final Fantasy X. That was Peace and Bliss by Blue Lighter from ocremix.org from the game Final Fantasy X. And now we have something a little different. It feels a bit of a cheat because I, I try to make this uh, exclusively video game music. But this came on one of the Overclocked Remix albums they have. as the CEO 2015 Champion album they did. A bunch of different uh, music for fighting games at, at this tournament. And one of the things the album also had was they had themes for the games that were going to be at the tournaments. So this is actually the theme for Super Smash Brothers at the tournament. It's not it's not from Super Smash Brothers except for a couple of samples from characters, but I just couldn't shake this track. I thought it was just so much fun. 
and so boppy and so uh, just a happy celebration of Super Smash Brothers, which is itself a happy celebration of all Nintendo. And it's got Captain Falcon voice samples in there and even that little Jigglypuff piece. So this is called Falcon Punch, the Super Smash Brothers theme of CEO 2015 by Benjamin Briggs from OC Remix's album, the CEO 2015 Champion Album.
That was Falcon Punch, the Super Smash Brothers theme of CEO 2015 by Benjamin Briggs from the album CEO 2015 Champion. That was the last track of the episode. Thank you for listening to Radio 64. Again, video game music remix radio. I have been your host, Eric Mickles, also known online as Dust vs. Tweak. You can find me on Twitter at Dust vs. Tweak if you have any requests for... Uh, source tunes or a game or a series or you have a remix specifically you want to hear on the show please let me know you can also find me on twitch and youtube under dust versus tweak radio 64 is part of the radio meanwhile network you can visit radiomeanwhile.com for more information about this and other great podcasts find past episodes of radio 64 on itunes spotify soundcloud and youtube and thank you to wraq 92.7 fm in angelica new york for hosting us every monday at 6 p.m see you next episode